Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hobart Bay Sports Network. I am your host, Justin Winter, and today the number 25 Hobart Bay ones take on the 3-6 and six Duke Blue Devils, who are very, very beat up. It looks like they're going to have three guys out for today, and at 3-6 and six, their offense is absolutely terrible, and uh, they could only hope that their defense is average. They are led by middle linebacker Tanache Berry, who only has 15 tackles this season, 6 for loss. Yeah. Good overall player, looks like he's more of a run-stopper guy, and less of a coverage man. He, he could prove difficult for the run game. They also have TJ Roming, the senior wide receiver, who... Yeah, he, he's not the greatest guy that we've ever seen. Duke is not a very, uh, spectacular team, if we're being honest. However, they are led by Daniel Jones, the quarterback, who is 128 for 281. That's not good. 1,500 yards, almost 1,600. Seven touchdowns to 15 picks. 45% completion percentage. Yeah, that's, uh, it's not very good. It really isn't. And, uh, you look at his stats... Not, not anything really impressive there either. And here we are in Durham, North Carolina, where Duke is going all blue, Hobart Bay is going all white, and Hobart Bay is number 25. This is their first game as a ranked team. Never thought that they'd make it here, especially after the 2-9 season last year. We look at these teams, and Hobart Bay, markedly better, for being perfectly honest. Duke, eh. I think they'd actually be happy. They should be happy and content with how bad they're doing with a 3-6 and six record. They really should be. Anyway, let's go down to the coin toss. Obar Bay chooses heads and it is tails, so Duke will choose to kick the ball off to start the game. Here we go. We have kickoff from Wallace Wade Stadium. And Thien Wen will take it out. And he has a couple blockers, and one of them didn't block so well. Still manages to get to about the 25 yard line. So here we go. First play of the game. To play action. Zach East rolls out. Looking for a man. Throws and has Bubba West. And he gets taken down after a gain of 17. Bubba West has done very good this year. He's already got the record for most receiving yards in a season, I think. And he looks to add to that. Here we go, another play action. East unloads, and that was a short unload as it's intercepted by Munitz. And Duke will force a turnover on the first possession of the game. And yeah. So much for number 25, but third down and three quickly for Duke, not getting much done. As Daniel Jones looks to throw, and he finds Jonathan Lloyd over the middle for 13 yards, but it's third down and nine. Again, their offense isn't great. We, we saw that. Here we go. Three-man pressure. It's a screenplay. Caught and blown up by Nate Link. Screenplay does not get past that man. And fourth down forces a punt. So Hobart Bay gets the ball back. It's a toss left to Trey Regis, who gets a block on the edge. Has one man to beat. And he gets pushed out of bounds after a gain of 24. Second down and seven. He's to throw. Finds Gio Saria, who gets taken down after a gain of 13. First down and 10. Three men to the left. East. Over the middle, intercepted by Jackson this time. And he will stumble down at about the 34-yard line. So, two drives, two interceptions for Hobart Bay. And now Duke has another chance to take the lead and strike first. Hand off to a Jigby, and he gets good yards up the middle for a first down run. Third down and five, as so they hurry up to the line. Daniel Jones throws. Caught, but it's well short of the first down, and Duke is going to have to punt again. So two interceptions for Hobart Bay and two punts for Duke. Slow start to the game. East goes to the left of Thien Wen, 
And he gets enough for a first down while well, they gave it to him. A holding call would put this at first down and 20. Aziz does a little play action, rolls out to his right, looking for a man. Throws over the middle and wide open is Bubba West. He makes a cut. One man to beat. He's got some speed, but he gets caught after a gain of 55 yards. And now a toss left to Trey Regis, and the blocking was utterly inadequate. Second down and 16. He drops back. Throws over the middle. Thien one caught it. And he's got inside the five-yard line after a gain of 25. First down and goal. Hobart Bay. They're looking a lot better on this drive. Shotgun formation. Looks like they might be making some adjustments. He's to throw. To the right. The Nguyen. Got in. Touchdown. Hobart Bay. The ones draw first blood with 23 seconds left in the first quarter. Then again, Hobart Bay never was a early game team. Here we go, Duke on the next drive. Daniel Jones looking over the middle. Caught by a Jake B, and he gets a lot of room. And that will end the first quarter. 7 0. Number 25, Hobart Bay, leads the Duke Blue Devils. So third down and three to start off the second quarter for Duke. Daniel Jones with five men out there and finds Helm for the first down. Eight yards. He only needed three. They hurry up to the line. Play action. Jones to the left. Caught by Helm. He breaks one tackle and gets taken down by a second man. 22 yards for the tight end. Third down and ten now. Here we go. Tried to get men to jump off sides. Man in motion. Looking to throw. Looking. And he misses his man. Corey Fitzpatrick was in the area. And that will force a field goal. So whole part Bay has their lead cut down to four points. Play action to Regis. East. Wide open Tyler Lamb. And he tried to make the men miss. But he's not that athletic. First down and ten though. Another toss left to Trey Regis. He gets one block, he gets another block. Tried to make a man miss, but gets spun down on what looked like perhaps a face mask, but it was not called. Now third down and one. Hand off straight up the middle. Regis did not get there. He got about a half yard. And Hobart Bay is going to go for it here. They love to play aggressive. Simple QB sneak, and he gets a bit more room. Six yards on a QB sneak. That's well more than enough for a first down. Here we go. Drops back. To the right. East has space and he didn't really have blockers, but he gets enough for a first down. Less than three minutes left in the half. Option. East keeps and he gets stuffed. Loss of four. Great play by the Duke defense. Hobart Bay manages to get it to third down and eight. He's the throw to the left. Knocked away. And now on fourth down and eight, what's Hobart Bay going to do? They're going to go for it. This would be about a 50-yard field goal. They don't think that uh, Chase Brooks can get it. Here we go. He's the throw to the right to Bubba West. Caught and has space. One man to beat. Touchdown! 33 yards. They needed eight for a first down. They got 33 for a touchdown. And now seven more points on the board. 14-3 Hobart Bay. As Daniel Jones gets, goes with a little play action. Throws to the right. And that's caught by Jonathan Lloyd. And he survives a hit. Now second down and 13. Duke trying to get something going before the half ends. Jones decides to run with it. Gets a block and has a first down, and he gets taken down at about the 41 yard line, first down and 10. Now Jones looking, scrambles again, and this time he gets sacked by Nate Link. The man who has absolutely come alive since the Indiana game. 
Third down and 13. Jones looking to throw. It's all you can do, and that one's dropped. So Duke is going to have to punt again. Hope our Bay gets one more shot to score before the end of the half. Play action. East. Rolling out, looking for someone. Decides to take it himself and gets just enough for a first down. Timeout, Hobart Bay. First down and 10. Takes the snap. Over the middle. Caught by Tyler Lamb, who is leveled immediately after he catches it. But it's still a first down. Four men out there. East. Throws deep and got Bubba West on the diving catch. First down and 10, 22 seconds. Play action to the right. Caught by Tyler Lamb, 19 seconds out of bounds. First down and goal. Two timeouts left. Read option, East keeps. And he spins in for the touchdown. Hobart Bay. Zach East extends the lead to three possessions. And that will be your score at the end of the first half. Hobart Bay leads 21 to 3. So, we're here at the halftime show. And it was very uh, intriguing. Hobart Bay had an established pattern of not doing much early on in the quarter. They didn't, you know, get a touchdown until the end of the first quarter. And then they scored both of their touchdowns, I think within like, in like the last two minutes of the second quarter. Duke, they just can't play offense. They really can't. They're terrible. They only got three points. That's it. Only three points. Duke needs to absolutely just get something going with their offense. And uh, they need to do it fast. Because you look at this. Hobart Bay, 251 passing yards already. Plus 63 rushing yards. It's crazy. But Duke will start off with the ball for the first half. First down and 10. Short of the... Actually, just past the 25 is Jones. Those are the middle to TJ Roming. Who gets seven yards on that quick catch? Five wide. Little play action, sort of. Jones throws to the right. Caught by Jonathan Lloyd. And he gets taken down at the 42 yard line. I think Duke heard me. Five wide again as they're hurrying up. Jones throws to the left. Caught by Fuller. And he gets nine yards on that one. Hobart Bay probably going to have to switch some things up. Duke is doing good here. Here we go. Throw to the left again. Caught by Trayvon Lee. Now second down and nine. Duke not letting up. They're still going fast. Bound to wear out any defense or offense. And he will throw to the right. Caught by Jonathan Lloyd. First down and goal. Now third down and goal from the three yard line. Jones looking to his right. Intercepted by Alfred Gillette. Oh my. That's the last thing Duke needed. The one-on-one -on -one went the way for Hobart Bay. And now second down and six. East rolls out. Throws Tyler Lamb. Plenty of space there. And he gets taken down at about the 41. And now with a second down and 14 play action. He's going to roll out to the right. Looking for someone. Throws on the run. And a dime! That was an absolute beauty to Gio Saria as Zach East now has nearly 300 yards. One yard short. Drops back here. And he gets sacked. Loss of seven. There wasn't even a chance on that one. I mean, it was brutal. Third down and nine. He got eight yards. He's looking to throw, rolls out, looking for someone, instead decides to run it himself, and goes out of bounds after he gets another first down with his legs. Second down and 10. 
Two minutes, 20 seconds left in the third quarter. East, looking to throw. Fires to the right. Cut by Bubba West. Touchdown, Hobart Bay. How about that? And that breaks his old record for most passing yards in a game. He beats it by 10. He now has 325 yards on the game. And now a first down and 10 for Duke. They need something and they need it now. They need to pull off some crazy comeback. As Jones finds a jig beat over the middle and that will be a first down. They need a lot of that. Here we go, looking like a little screen play and Richard Gilliam blows it up. And I mean absolutely blows it up. And that leads to a second down and 14. Looks like another screen play and that one is intercepted by Peter Clay. The true freshman. How about that? He intercepted the screen pass. Well, I'll be darned. How about that for a true freshman play? So first down, 10 for Hobart Bay East. Those to the right, intercepted by Muniz. Oh, well, okay. You know, just forget, you know, the true freshman's first pick, you know, forget the biggest play he's ever made. Just throw an interception. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Jones looking to throw here, and he gets sacked by Nate Link. Who else? Number 49, the terrorizer from the left. Or I guess for the offense, it's from the right. Left end for Hobart Bay, though. Now Jones looking. And he gets sacked again. That brings up a fourth down and 22. Oh my goodness. Nate Link is a monster, I'm telling you. So Hobart Bay gets the ball, first down and 10. 30 seconds left in the quarter. Play action to Regis. Looking, throws deep. Bubba West got it with space. Touchdown! Hobart Bay, it only took a single play. Now at 375 yards, and Bubba West breaks the record, his own record, for receiving yards in a game. He's now at 205 yards. How about that? Ooh, man. That was a beautiful ball. And that will bring about the end of the third quarter. Hobart Bay leads 35-3. A 32-point lead. Yeah. Well, we're not going to get a uh, Buffalo-Houston game. No Bills and Oilers. However, Pierre will run up the middle for a touchdown for Duke. So they do get into the end zone today. That's good on them. But uh, it's going to be too little too late. And the backups actually get to come in for Hobart Bay. They got a whole drive. Oh, West is blocking. <laughs> it's a toss left to Jamar williams Shepard, who will get a touchdown of his own. Bubba West was blocking. What was Bubba West blocking for? Anyway, that will be your final score on this one. Number 25, Hobart Bay, 42, unranked Duke, 10. Turned out to be exactly how it should be, and Bubba West is the player of the game with six catches, 205 yards, and three touchdowns. Just forget, you know, Zach East's passing performance. I mean, he had, what, three interceptions? So, I mean... I guess that makes sense. The 42-10, first game as a as a ranked team, and Hobart Bay definitely proved it. Duke scheduled Hobart Bay this season thinking, oh yeah, you know, it should be a great, easy win. And if it was anything like last year, Hobart Bay probably would have lost. But this team is crazy. They are special. I have no idea how they managed to pull this out. And this brings them to eight and three they were two and nine last year and now they're eight and three and they're blowing out teams like duke well i mean duke isn't you know the greatest team but i mean they're still a power five school this is crazy come to the post game show you should it's great be there Crazy game for Zach East. He goes 17 for 22, 375 yards, four touchdowns to three picks. Adam Coleman went three for three, 72 yards. So that was his drive. 
On the ground, we didn't actually have a ton. Zach East had 36 yards, Regis had 33, but East and William Shepard both had touchdowns. On the receiving end, Bubba West with 205 yards and three touchdowns. That's crazy. And then Thien Wynn had six catches, 109 yards, a touchdown. That was his best ever game. Tyler Lamb had 68 yards. Gio Saria, his production of the season has declined. He only got 45 yards there. That has been for a couple weeks. Corey Fitzpatrick is the tackle leader with six tackles, all of them alone. No sacks, but three sacks for Nate Link. I mean, he's crazy. I cannot believe how that Indiana game changed him. Chase Brooks had no field goal attempts. However, Jerry Bratton made one for Duke. Duke's tackle leader is Jeremy McDuffie. Two interceptions for Zach Munitz, the redshirt senior, so good for him. Receiving-wise, their leading receiver was Jonathan Lloyd with 66 yards. However, Dan Helm, oh wait, no, Joseph Ajakeby had 10 catches for 41 yards. It looks like he actually got injured towards the end of the game there, so that's bad. Running game was also dismal with five runs for 37 yards, good average, and then Nicodem Pierre had one for 18, and that was a touchdown. And then Daniel Jones on the air went 30 for 44, 248 yards, no touchdowns, and two picks. And yeah, aside from turnovers, Hobart Bay absolutely just walloped Duke. Except for rushing yards, being by two. And look at that! I did not know this, but Zach East is in the Heisman race, and not only is he in it, he's leading it. How in the world did that happen? I don't know. Crazy things are happening this season. The fact that they even got bowl eligibility is crazy, let alone the ranking. They're now at number 22, and now Zach East is a Heisman leader. Like I said, crazy things this season. But next week, it is the regular season closer for Hobart Bay. They face 1-9 in Virginia. It should be a win, but... <laughs> it, it's a crazy season, you never know. I hope to see you there, but until next time, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so that YouTube doesn't screw you over, and have a nice day.